All right, this video is to show you, or remind you really, how to turn a Word document into a JPEG. And you would do this so that this particular document can be posted lots of different places, including social media, or into a Prezi, or a Google Slides presentation. In this case, I'll show you so that you can post it into a PowerPoint. But once it's a JPEG, it can go pretty much anywhere. So the first step would be to locate a document that you'd like to change into a JPEG. And since earlier in the semester, I had you turn your brochure into a JPEG, we'll use that as an example. So if you need to, pause this and find your brochure or some other Word document that you can turn into a JPEG. The next would be to click on File and go to Save As. You should note that this will look a little different to you um, than it will to me because your version of Word is probably a little bit different. Right here where it says Save As Type, you're going to go down to PDF. That's what you need to turn it into first. And it's going to ask you to name it. And we'll just name it brochure one sample that's what it's named as in my folder and so I'm gonna click save and it should open up a PDF <clears throat> and there it is and now you can see this is a PDF so this is something you can send out to people and they won't be able to edit it like you can in a Word document so this would be the better brochure to send and to email because it's easier to see than a JPEG in a PDF format. Most people have PDF on their computers too, whether they have Macs or PCs or even Chromebooks you can view a PDF on. So the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to File to Save As and you're going to go to Image and you are going to choose JPEG. So this would be the final step. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. So you choose where you want to save it. I'm going to save it in this folder. I know right where that is. It's on my P drive. But if I wanted to resend it or choose a different location for its folder destination, I could do that right here, of course. And I'm just going to click Save. And typically when you do this, nothing will pop up. So it kind of told me right down there, maybe you saw that, that it saved as a JPEG. So that is now saved in my folder. Now the mistake that many of you are making is when you insert. So I'm in PowerPoint. I could also put this in a Google Slides document. So I could put it right here in our daily slides. Uh, I could put this a lot, lot of different places. I'm going to show you how I could now post that JPEG I just made from the brochure into this PowerPoint slide. And I go to Insert. And it's a picture now. A JPEG is an image. So uh, picture would be my option here and it's on my P drive so I need to go in here and find it here it's in unit 2 unit 2 samples and you can see it made it into two separate JPEGs because that PDF of the brochure was two pages long so it took each page and it made it a JPEG so I'm going to insert one just by double clicking and so you can see both at the same time I'm going to resize so there's one JPEG and click on the other there's the other one so I have now turned that into a JPEG and I could do that same insert process on pretty much any tool I'll show you real quick I'll put it into my daily slide for uh, today on my um, on Google Slides so insert again this time I would choose image and since it's on my computer I can save it right here if I had saved that to my Google Drive I could insert right from my Google Drive too but it will also do it right from my computer I need to go find it again And it's right in here. Gives me a whole lot more options now, but I'll just do one. There it is. And now I can resize it. And now it'll be part of my Google Doc. That is if I wanted it to be. Of course, I don't. So that's, uh, that's how you do that.